Hello and welcome to Two Car Pros. Today we're going to show you how to replace these spark plugs in a Toyota Prius between the years of 2003 and 2009. So the first thing we need to do is undo the air filter box and remove the top. Next we can remove the air filter. Next we need to remove this intake tube that leads to the air box. Next, we need to unplug the mass airflow sensor. I just took a standard screwdriver and wedged it into the clasp mechanism like this and it just slid right off of the mass airflow sensor connector. Next, we need to remove this bracket that holds the mass airflow sensor wire in place. Next, we need to take a 10 millimeter socket and loosen the hose clamp that is at the bottom of the air box. Next, we need to undo these two top bolts that hold the airbox in place. They are both 10 millimeter. Now we can kind of wiggle and move our airbox around so we can remove it. Next, we need to relocate this uh, relay box. We're not going to remove it or anything. We're just going to undo the 10 millimeter bolts and move it out of the way. This gives us access to the coil packs. Now what we need to do next is grab a very tiny uh, standard screwdriver and I used it to just pry the clasp up. It seemed to be the easiest. Uh, there's some manuals online that say you can use your thumb, uh, but I guess my thumb's just not strong enough or something. I found this to be the easiest way. You just kind of trip the safety on the clasping mechanism for the coil pack connector and then it just slides right off. Now the coil pack on the very far right is the trickiest one of all. What I did was, again, I grabbed my smallest standard screwdriver, put it into the uh, clasp mechanism to trick it, and then I used another screwdriver to push it off. It is a little arduous to get in there and move the connector around, but you can get it if you just keep at it. Next, we're going to use some compressed air to blow out all the debris and dirt around from the coil packs before we remove them. Next, we're going to take a 10 millimeter socket and remove the coil packs. Next, we're going to take a 5 8 uh, size spark plug uh, remover socket. You have to get a spark plug socket 
it happens to be 5 8 here and do yourself a favor buy a nice spark plug socket the one I showed you initially in this video is uh, fairly cheap I got it for almost nothing and uh, the problem with it is it won't let go of the spark plug upon installation actually right here when I pull it out I had to take it to a vise uh, just to get the spark plug out of the socket so it's it's good to spend a little bit of money and get a nice spark plug socket Next, we need to compare our old spark plugs to our new ones to make sure that they're identical. Uh, we need to make sure that they're the same size, the same thread, and the same gap. The gap for this vehicle is 0.04. The next favor you can do for yourself is buy a uh, small tube of anises for spark plugs. I got this on Amazon for like $2.30 and you're going to apply a little bit onto the spark plug thread so the next time you remove them they don't gall the threads and I probably used a little bit too much here. You could probably use half as much as I did and you will be just fine. See, here's my nice new spark plug socket that actually lets go of the spark plugs once they're in the thread. Uh, I was having problems with the old spark plug socket staying on the spark plug, so we can't have that. And we're going to carefully lower them into uh, the spark plug well and screw it in by hand at first. You don't want to cross thread and you don't want to uh, bop the top of the spark plug because you don't want the gap changing. Now we're going to take our torque wrench and torque it to 13 foot-pounds. Now unfortunately my camera was a bit on the fritz that day and I only managed to get uh, show you how to install one spark plug but I promise they are all the same. All four of them install the exact same way so I showed you how to put one spark plug in, now you need to do the other three. Now the same kind of thing happened with the coil pack assembly. I only managed to really get one. My camera was really being on the fritz that day, so I had it replaced all the spark plugs in this situation. So now I'm, I'm doing one where you can see it really easily. And uh, you just kind of put the coil pack back into where you found it and reinstall the 10 millimeter bolt. And you're going to torque that bolt to uh, 13 foot pounds once again. Once all four coil packs have been reinstalled, we can plug them back into the ignition system. And those uh, clasps, they just, they just push right on. There's no tools or uh, tricky things you have to do with those. Now we can reinstall our relay box with those 10 millimeter bolts we removed earlier. Uh, there's really no torque spec for this, just make sure it's nice and tight.
Now we can reinstall our airbox, making sure the hose clamp's on that little L cut out there. We also need to reinstall the intake tube on the left. Now just for ease, the first thing I did was reinstall the uh, hose clamp that leads into the throttle body. Uh, again, I believe that's a 10 millimeter, and then there's no torque spec. You just make sure that it is holding quite well. And next we can replace the two 10 millimeter bolts that hold the airbox in place. Next, we need to tighten the hose clamp on the air intake tube. Next, we need to reinstall the air filter. Next, we need to reinstall the top of the air box. And finally, we can re-plug in our mass airflow sensor. Again, it just pushes right on. There's really no trick to it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please visit twocarpros.com where our online automotive experts are ready to help for free.